Hello, I'm Marlo Oaks, Utah State Treasurer. Part of my responsibility as treasurer is to oversee our state's unclaimed property division. This video is designed for organizations that may be holding unclaimed property belonging to Utahns. Utah law requires all businesses to annually review their financial records to determine whether they are holding any funds, securities, or tangible properties that have been unclaimed for the required dormancy period, which varies based on property type, but is typically three years. I will walk you through how to submit a manual online report step-by-step. -step. Manual online reporting is a free basic reporting tool for organizations holding unclaimed property. This tool is only recommended if you have relatively few properties to report, but there technically is no limit on the number of properties or owners that can be entered. If you have many properties, we recommend contracting with the third party provider. To get started, visit our secure and encrypted government website, mycash.utah.gov. Click on Reporting Property and then select Submit a Report. Select Enter a Manual Report in the box labeled I Need to Create a Report. The Manual Online Reporting tool will open in a new tab. First, you need to register by entering your email address under the Register heading. Next, you will be presented with your secret key. This secret key is irretrievable. We highly recommend you copy and keep this secret key in a secure location and do not lose it. This key will act as your password when returning to access your in-progress work. Without this secret key, any work you have started will be lost and you will need to start over. Please note that your report must be completed within 45 days of registration. After 45 days, any incomplete report will be deleted. Once you're registered, you'll be directed to begin the process of submitting a report by entering your holder information. You must complete all fields that have a red asterisk. These fields are for the business information and help our staff know who to contact about the report in case you need help. Finally, you will enter the report year and report type. Click Save to continue. You will then be directed to the report summary page. Verify that the information is correct. Click edit holder if any of the information needs to be modified. If everything is accurate, select create a record to continue. A record is made up of two pieces of required information, the owner's information and the property details. Click add new owner to record to add the property owner's information. Fill out the required fields and any other information you have. While not all information is required, we need as much information as possible to locate and identify the rightful owner. Providing all of the information you have reduces the likelihood we will need to contact you in the future for additional details. Select Save to continue. If there is more than one owner on a property, select Add New Owner to Record to add the other owner's information. When you are done adding owners for this property, review the owner's information. If there is an error, you can select Edit to make your corrections. If everything looks correct, select Add Property. Select the Add New Property button, fill out the property information, and click Save to continue. Review the summary of property information. Select Edit to fix any errors. If everything is correct, select Go to Report Summary. On the summary record page, you will see a summary of owners and property entered. This is followed by each individual record entered. If you have another property to report, you can click create a record and repeat the process. At any time before submitting your report, you can select the add edit owners button or the add edit property button to correct any errors. If you need to delete a record, click the Delete button. When all of your records have been entered, select the Final Review button. From here, you can click the Download NAPA file for your records. NAPA stands for National Association of Unclaimed Property Administrators. Downloading the NAPA file is optional, but we highly recommend that you keep a copy of the NAPA file in case an error occurs. Check every box in the Summary Record section to confirm what you have entered and select the Submit button. The warning that pops up is your last chance to download a copy of your report. If you want to download the file, select the Go Back for Download button to return to the previous page. If not, 
select the Continue with Submission button. You will be redirected to confirmation page showing the submission was successful. Print a copy of this submission for your records. You will also receive a confirmation email with instructions on how to pay the reported property value. Once you have submitted the payment, the reporting process is complete. Thank you for watching.